Hello everyone. In this next Power Automate tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a really common file processing flow. Using the Cloudmersive file processing connector in just a few sample files, we're going to create a brand new zip archive and store that archive in a new folder. I'm going to demonstrate using an instant cloud flow, but once you get the hang of it, you can easily convert this into an automated flow that targets a specific folder. Let's begin. On the Power Automate homepage, click Create on the left-hand side and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. Give your flow a name, and then select to manually trigger a flow and click Create at the bottom of the page to move on to the Flow Design page. In this flow, we're going to get multiple file contents, which we can do by setting up multiple Get File Content operations. Click New Step and type Get File Content into the operation search bar. If you're using SharePoint, select the option with the green SharePoint logo and then verify your site address so you can have access to the folder path. From there, use the file picker to select your first file. Now, we're going to duplicate that exact operation to get our second file, as you can see here. The only difference, of course, is that we'll be picking a different file than last time. Power Automate will provide dynamic content which will distinguish between these two operations later on in the flow and allow us to link information from one operation to the next automatically. You can do this for as many files as you want to add to a zip archive, but I'm just going to use two files to be efficient with your time. Let's now include the zip archive operation. Click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Select the Cloudmersive file processing connector with the purple logo from the list of Cloudmersive options below. Once you do, you'll need to search Compress Files or Zip in the action search bar and select the appropriate action. If you've never used a Cloudmersive connector before, this is also the stage where you'll be asked to include your Cloudmersive API key to authenticate access. You can easily get an API key by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. That account will provide a limit of 800 API calls per month, and once you enter your key here, it'll save for the next use just like mine has. When you're ready, let's go about satisfying this action's parameters. Click on the first input file bar and select the dynamic content file content. You'll notice Power Automate will give you the option to pick this content from either the first or second input. We want these to line up, so make sure you select the correct option. After that, quickly go back to the Get File Content step and copy your file name to paste in the second parameter. Once you're done, repeat this process for your second input file, remembering again to distinguish between your first and second inputs. It's now time to wrap up the flow with a Create File operation. Click New Step and type Create File into the search bar. I'm using the SharePoint action again, so I'm going to click on that option and define my site address right after. Below, we need to define the folder path, name, and contents of the zip file we're creating. First, select the folder you want by using the file picker once again. Then, give your zip archive a new name and end that name with the .zip suffix. Finally, click on the file content bar and select the output content option to ensure the archive is filled with the files we specified in the previous steps. After that, it's time to save and test the flow. Click Save at the bottom of the page, then click Test in the upper right corner. Select the option to trigger manually, then click Test at the bottom, followed by Continue and Run Flow. After a few seconds, you should see green check marks come up on each operation in the flow to indicate that they ran smoothly. If there was an error, you'll instead see a big red marker wherever it happened and you'll get a bunch of information on the right hand side of the page outlining the cause of the error. To make sure your flow definitely worked, just head to the target folder and look for your new file. As you can see, my zip archive is right where it should be. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.